The government and people of Antigua and Barbuda present the Parliament of Antigua and Barbuda to be considered as the seat of the new Organization of Eastern Caribbean States Regional Assembly. This remarkable state-of-the-art facility, located 10 minutes from the V.C. Bird International Airport and 5 minutes from the city center St. John's, possesses a number of modern technological features which makes it unique. Let us take a tour of the Parliament of Antigua and Barbuda. Erected in 2006 by the Hadid Group of Companies, the Parliament of Antigua and Barbuda was designed to ensure continuity for more than 30 years. Amassing a size of over 40,000 square feet, the building has the capacity to accommodate additional staff well in excess of its present complement. The Parliament is fully equipped with a number of offices and rooms catering to various purposes. The debating chamber, hosting sessions of the House of Representatives and the Senate with a capacity of 15 members on either side of the aisle. The gallery is also located in this area and provides a bird's eye view on the proceedings in the chamber. It carries a seating capacity of up to 290 persons. In addition, the debating chamber is equipped with multimedia capabilities. It is outfitted with six widescreen televisions, of which two are mounted. The latter set allows for persons to easily view presentations, irrespective of where they sit, be it the gallery or the chamber. It is pertinent to note that every room is fully networked, with at least one or two contact points for ready high-speed internet access, exceeding 10 meters of bandwidth. The high capacity of bandwidth allows many persons to easily access the internet at a fast speed. Additionally, there is Wi-Fi capability in the debating chamber for the parliamentarians, media and the public, thereby allowing for easy wireless connections to the internet via various devices such as laptops, mobile phones and iPads. The three dedicated media galleries providing bird's eye views of the proceedings in the chamber are also internet ready, providing Wi-Fi and network points for reporting purposes. The Parliament also has high quality broadcasting facilities, allowing for the live coverage of events via both radio and television accessible throughout the OECS. There is a direct dedicated link back to the government broadcast station, ABS, Antigua Broadcasting Station. Nevertheless, in the event of a sudden failure, a backup link can be immediately accessed from another location on the island. The facility is also supported by two tiers of staff from the Ministry of Information, Broadcasting, Telecommunications and Science and Technology. The first tier comprises a team of hardware technicians and the second tier comprises a team of network engineers. The Parliament is also fully equipped to host workshops and mini conferences with two conference rooms with a capacity of 25 persons each and a training room with a capacity of approximately 35 persons. The administrative area of the Parliament has a fully functional General Secretariat, complemented by an Accounts Office, the Office of the Clerk of Parliament, and the Office of the Deputy Clerk and Senior Assistant Secretary. On the western side of the facility, there is also a fully furnished Members of Parliament lounge with an adjoining office for the Prime Minister, 
with an administrative area and conference facilities for approximately 20 persons. The eastern section of the facility, also on the second floor, provides fully functional offices for the Leader of the Opposition, President of the Senate, Speaker of the House of Representatives and the Parliamentary Council. The Parliament of Antigua and Barbuda, fully air-conditioned, also has 24-hour security with easy access to the emergency services of Antigua and Barbuda, including the Royal Police Force of Antigua and Barbuda headquarters, the St. John's Fire Station, and the Mount St. John Medical Center. Electricity to the facility is supplied from the most stable electrical grid. However, in the event of a power failure, the facility has a one megawatt generator with automatic changeover within 30 seconds to ensure a smooth continuous flow of operations. Parking and restroom facilities are also readily available. A visit to Antigua and Barbuda would not be complete without sampling the authentic Antiguan and Barbudan cuisine. The Parliament of Antigua and Barbuda is therefore equipped with a fully staffed kitchen and lunchroom serving up mouth-watering delicacies daily. The government and people of Antigua and Barbuda look forward to welcoming the OECS to Antigua and Barbuda as we respectfully accept the seat of the new Organization of Eastern Caribbean States Regional Assembly. Antigua and Barbuda, where the beach is just the beginning.